Welcome to example number three. We have the rotation of a bicycle wheel, of a, really a stationary exercise bike, as you can see in the diagram, so that the axle is remaining stationary, and really it's just the spokes, the wheel itself, that's rotating. Uh, and we're told a bunch of information. So at time zero, we pick this x-axis, this spoke right along that x-axis, to be the initial angle of zero degrees, or zero radians. However, the wheel is already rotating at that particular point in time, so the initial angular velocity at that particular point in time is 4 rads per second. And then it continues to accelerate at a constant rate. The angular acceleration, which we represent with a symbol alpha, is 2 rads per second squared. And we're asked to find out, when we look at it some later point in time, three seconds, where is this spoke? How much angle has, has it made with respect to the original positive x-axis to the right? And then part b, what is its angular velocity at that particular point in time? So t is three seconds. So this is all of our given information in here. So part a, we're looking for the angle that this spoke makes with the positive x-axis. So I hope you're thinking of a, the appropriate rotational kinematics equation which is theta equals theta naught plus omega naught times t plus one half times alpha t squared. Okay, it's very similar to our kinematics equations for linear motion, x equals x zero plus v zero t plus one half at squared. So now we substitute in theta equals zero for initial angle uh, plus four rads per second times a time of three seconds plus one-half times the angular acceleration, which is two rads per second squared times a time of three seconds quantity squared. So go ahead and put that into your calculator, and you should find you get an answer of 21.0 rads, exactly. Okay, part B is asking for what is the angular velocity at this particular point in time. So hopefully you're thinking of this equation, omega equals omega naught plus alpha t. There might be other ways of solving it. You could probably use, uh, say, omega squared equals omega naught squared plus 2 times alpha times delta theta, because you now know delta theta. You could use that. Um, I'm just going to use this because it seems to be simpler for me. So omega at, t at 3 seconds would be equal to the initial angular velocity, which is 4 rads per second, plus the angular acceleration, 2 rads per second squared, multiplied by a time period of 3 seconds. And so that's going to give us 2 times 3 is 6, plus 4, which gives us 10 rads per second squared, or rads per second, sorry. Now, um, I see down here I've also got an answer written in revolutions per second, so I should show how we convert that to revolutions per second. Let me rewrite this fraction. We'll write it as rads per second because we want revolutions per second. So we want to get rid of the rads on the top, so we're going to multiply by 2 pi rads because that's what you get in one revolution. So the rads then cancel out, and so we really have 10 divided by 2 pi, which works out to be 1.59 revolutions per second. And that's it for example number three.